Hi, Pisces. Welcome to my channel. We're doing your reading. How are you in this glorious, glorious day? <laughs> glorious month. Okay. So let's start your reading. But before we start, thank you very much to everybody who has made their purchase. You're going to see here the money pot. Um, we've already shipped hundreds of the order. Um, and that's it for the for last eclipse. But a lot of people are asking because they missed out. So we're going to do another one. Well, I'm going to do another one because I make it myself. So um, I made mine and I enjoyed making the, the first batch. So I'm going to make another one. Um, this next eclipse, so it's a money pot. Um, you can check it in the description box below. And that's it. Once that ship has sailed, I got to go. <laughs> so, <laughs> so let's begin over here. At the end of this video, you will see also if you want to get a personal reading with me. It's going to be there. And I would like, I have an extended reading for this. And make sure to check our store because we do have our... Um, uh, forty percent okay um discount on our store wide okay so there's a lot of things going on in our in our website at eatreadlove.me so make sure to check it out let's see here now let me see I have your chart over here okay Jupiter is still in retrograde Pisces I know that right and we're waiting for we we're waiting for your Lagna Lord to come through okay. mm -hmm. so let's see What's going on for my Pisces? Mm. Okay. Ooh, Nine of Cups, getting your wish fulfillment. A lot of people probably are manifesting. Nine of Cups over here. Um, I'd call this probably like you're doing some sort of spiritual, um, uh, how to say this, um, spiritual practices. Okay. The coconut over here, um, I've done my fair share of doing puja and remedies for the nodes. And they have this um, remedy for offering of the coconut. Um, and, you know, but this is more of like, a, you know, it's a spiritual practice. And I believe you got to go to a river. I have done my own uh, remedy. Um, I, I did consult an astrologer for that. Mm -hmm. Now, has it helped me um, performing um, rituals? I, I believe so. Mm -hmm. Um from what um, I, I did the Navagraha, so I did uh, remedies for all the planets um, to, um, how to say this? Uh, but remember, when you're doing remedy, it's not removing the karma. You receive it actually earlier. <laughs> uh, so a lot of people think that doing remedy is actually removing the challenges. No, when you're doing remedy, you will accept your fate, okay, that this is what I am to receive, it doesn't make it go away. So um, like gemstone, using of gemstone, like think of it this way. If you're doing a remedy for relationship and you start wearing, let's just say diamond, you know, because um, you don't have love and then love comes through, right? So now you're working your karma with regards to relationship. That's why the person comes through. It's because you're accepting, okay, this is my karma. Let me face it now, then later. So... And um, like what I always say with the, you know, if you're doing remedy, um, as I see here, your chart, remember, I, I don't just, not I don't just, I, I do tarot, but I do other things. Um, uh, in the part of like um, using remedy and different tools, um, you have to also understand that um, remedies that are sattvic are much better than uh, tamasic um, because you do incur more karma um, if you do um, remedies through gemstone. Because the best way to do a remedy is actually prayers. Mm -hmm. That's that one. Um, but others has to be um, taking their will, taking action. Like prayers doesn't work because you have to pay in actuality, like service, charity, like that. Mm -hmm. So it depends on the chart, um, you know, um, who can use a gemstone. Um, we look at the dignity of Mars if you're able to use a gemstone because Mars is the uh, the one that rules. So, but it's quite complex. Um, so not everybody who wears a gemstone, it works, not at all, no. Um, you can try, but you know, again, it depends on the placement, but I don't know your chart, so, um, but I'm just giving you some insights over here. So that's a nine of cups. If you're performing and attracting and manifesting, like you're gonna ask, it's like, oh, I, I've done this. Why is this not working for me? I bought a citrine, I bought this and that. You know, but for others, you're getting it, right? Hermit, um, spiritual practices, which is good. Um, this is your seventh house, which has been crazy in the past month. All the planets were there also. You got Venus debilitation there. We had um, Mercury, you know, exalted there. But it was more of a challenging time. 
in the past month for you. You probably, um, you know, tried to survive a relationship, but then it wind up, you know, to separation. Hermit is the card of isolation. So the Piscean right now are seeking answers from within, which is good. Um, you are also trying to find your own happiness uh, as far as the Hermit is concerned and connecting with God, your creator. Um, the Hermit is a traveling card, but it is a travel for spirituality. So you may be doing some sort of pilgrimage, which is Hermit. You are in isolation right now and you're just making yourself happy. For some, I'm also seeing here that you're going back into baking. Maybe you haven't baked in a while. Not the face. Uh, you get to bake the face. Who bakes the face anymore? Nobody. It's skincare now, darling. It's skincare. <laughs> um, this uh, two of ones over here is showing that you have kept your romantic relationship like in a back burner. You're not really entertaining anyone. A two of ones is you're keeping yourself in a safe distance. More than what CDC has suggested prior years, six feet. No, for you, it's like it's best that I am. Not just six feet. All the feet. <laughs> all the feet. Um, back burner with relationship. Um, you're very protective of yourself. Um, I don't see you desiring anything here. Plus, you're also going to find a lot of secrets um, right now with the sun in the eighth house for you. So be prepared. If you are in marriage or relationship, your person is about to tell you something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Two of cups. Okay. I'll see you. I'll see you. All right. So from what I'm seeing... <laughs> Is that I said so I'll be ready for them telling you something. Are you expecting love? Two of Cups over here. Um, this romantic connection has been in and out, hot and cold between the two of you. And that keeps you actually uh, <laughs> distant from them. Um, one day they want you, next day you don't know. You know. So the Two of Cups here um, can be Cancerian over here. Look at that. There's heart and there's something that binds the two of you. It's a soul contract, soul connection. That's what they call um, you did ask your guides over here for a soulmate, and you did get a soulmate. Mm -hmm. um, six of Swords, but you are not talking to them. Having the Six of Swords and the Two of Cups, you're keeping yourself at a safe distance because you're so exhausted mentally of how they have shut you down. I believe that both of you have ghosted each other here and also separated because in between the Four of Swords and the Six of Swords, there was three and five. Which only means that you guys had an argument about someone got in the middle of this relationship. We don't know if it's a person, but there was an obstacle that you guys were trying to communicate. It didn't come into clarity. It became more shady. This is what I'm seeing here. Mm -hmm. The only shady part, well, you know, you're, you're about to go into a big metamorphosis by CN because everything is happening in your eighth house. And the node is there, right? The eclipse is there. So this is a breakthrough that you will have in life, not just in relationship. Okay, Be careful if you own a business, this may become a very um, erratic kind of um, um, business time. If you are a financial advisor or you work in finance, this can become a little bit of an issue also. Okay. Big change in career also that you're thinking. Your person is seeking justice here by CN, which means like trying to make the relationship work, um, trying to understand you, trying to really weigh the situation and um, who is, who's going to do what and vice versa. Meaning it's like, okay, this is what I can bring in the table. This is Libra. That's where the eclipse has happened. Um, Venus is there right now, um, but it's not comfortable because Sun is there in K2. Okay, so not really the best time for a relationship, but your person is seeking here and trying to tell you that you guys do have a connection. Now, they, I'm pretty sure that they would admit here that they were not really as supportive as they should be. Um, they've been in and out of your life. You have the Two of Pentacles there. Um, they claim that they're always busy. So um, if you need someone or support, they're not really there. Um, you will feel exhausted and tired trying to work this because their focus and attention is with someone else. Or their work with the Three of Pentacles, they have a project that they're doing. Now, they can also be going through divorce and separation with a justice card. So you're connecting with someone who's married, and then you're waiting for them to get divorced, but they haven't finished that. So they still have a karmic tie with someone else. So you become the soulmate, but they have a past connection that they haven't resolved. So that keeps them shackled to that person. So there is an inconsistency with your person, Knight of Wands. Um, we know that the Knight of Wands never stays. It does sleep around and mess around. Um, it's more about fun. Um, so if you're looking for someone who is really just for 
good times, then this is the person. Um, having the Knight of Wands, it's, it gets tricky because your person here is showing that um, they are very much interested in you. Like, you will have fun. You will feel the connection. You will get enamored, mesmerized, and fall in love with this person. Like, you will feel like the dates are just amazing. The spending time, the Two of Cups, is really this soulful connection. You will feel it. Then you have here the Two of Swords and the Six of Pentacles. Um, they're giving you breadcrumbs and this is why you don't want to deal with them. And they haven't really made a decision if they want a relationship. They tried to clarify it with you with the Justice card. But I sense here that you guys didn't reach uh, to an agreement um, between the Two and the Four of Swords. It was a Three again. So their decision to just Libra, you get Sag, you know, you get Capricorn over here, you get Virgo, you get Leo. Um, their decision is actually um, like, I'm not sure, you know, but they're the one who come to you, who came to your life, you know, I'm showing the desire. Um, you're just minding your, your own business over here. But from what I'm seeing is now that they want to connect with you. Now think of your question. We're going to be um, answering some questions. This is still more of your person. Okay. Now, if this is going to work out with your soulmate with the Justice card, because karmically, there's the yin and yang over there. Let's see. I'm going to look if you guys are going to be together in a relationship. Two, three, and then four. Four for security in a relationship. Um, ooh, look at that. We got something that came out. Mm, okay. Nine of Wands with the Ace of Cups. So I'll take this as the overall instead of this one. Okay. So um, let me explain that later on. Now, your person hasn't been sure with this relationship for whatever reason they're juggling right now. Let me see. What are they juggling? Three is a crowd. Let's see whether who are they engaged with or involved right now. Then you have here the Three of Pentacles. And they claim that they want to focus on this relationship also, but inconsistency. So let's see. What, are, what do they mean about focusing on this relationship? Knight of Wands is um, the reason why you guys are not together. Um, I feel like they left and they haven't replied. So let's see if this is no contact. Three, four, five. So let's talk about what they want to tell you. Because they did ask for time with the Two of Swords. What's their decision about this relationship and partnership? And Six of Pentacles here, when they reach out or you reach out, what will happen next? Okay. okay. Now your overall card over here, we're not done. Everything is in the description box below for the extended reading. And then next to this also is how you can get a personal uh, reading with me. Um, uh, Nine of Wands with the Ace of Cups. So Pisces, what you have here is uh, either you're scared or they're scared um, about falling or giving this a chance. Um, Nine of Wands is someone who's been hurt so many times and feeling actually um, like a victim. They're not feeling like a victim. They're the victim. So someone is just too scared. Like, I can't trust this anymore. No matter how much I love you, I'm not sure. But there's someone here who's definitely in love. Someone still wants this connection, which is the Ace of Cups. I'm going to continue this reading. Link down there in the description box below. Next to this is how to get a reading with me. Hi, everyone. If you are in need of a personal reading with me, there's going to be a few spots open. It's going to be in the description box below. And let me explain how it works. These are short readings. And it's going to be, I'm only answering two questions and you can choose between each one. One is about no contact and how do they feel towards you. And the other one is about reconciliation. These are very short readings and I don't need any of your information. Once you have made your order, I will see it in my on my end in my computer and I will read it for you and I will send you a video format for this reading. Again, before you order your personal reading, make sure to read 
what is in the description, and what is the current turnaround. Now, normally, it depends on the volume and how long I will be able to send you your video. So I do appreciate your patience. But if you get it today, then chances are in a couple of days, I will be able to read it right away. I don't do personal readings on weekends. So it's best that you put it now. So that way, come by next week, I'll be able to go through the list of who has made their order. So thank you very much guys for watching. Make sure to check in the description box below for those personal reading. Again, you are only able to order your personal reading on my website. I'll see you guys. Bye.